Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another crazy farming video. So we stood in the middle of a barley field in uh, Western Australia. Yes, we do get about quite a lot. It's actually a really good map though this. It's the same map which I did the uh, cinematic series on. So you may be thinking, what possible thing could you do here which is unrealistic? Well, to put it simply, we're going to pick up some bales, which doesn't sound that unrealistic or crazy. but. It is, because we're going to pick up 600 on the same trailer. This can only go one way, the crazy way. To complete the task, we're going to go back to the class Lexian 990, uh, but we're going to have two. We're going to have two of these. So there we go, and we're going to have the 90 foot headers as usual. It's the only way to go. And then we have to have the balers as well. We can actually have either of the two. Um, it doesn't matter because the trailer can pick up both bale types, it can pick up the, uh, the square and the round and it can also actually pick up pallets as well, although it can't pick up quite as many pallets. So we're going to go for the quadrant bales today. I think they'll be the best and we of course need to get the trailer itself, which I can only assume is in baling technology. It is indeed, there it is. So an interesting mod, very interesting. Do we have everything? I think we do. I suppose the last thing we need to do is choose a field. Field number five, which is actually this big field just here, very long field, would have been perfect. But unfortunately, it's actually growing soybeans. So we have to go for the second longest field, which again is debatable. I don't know. It's one of these two here, I think. This one here is pretty long. Uh, but we'll just go for one of these two. I think it's field number two and possibly three. But we'll go for two. It's two and four. We'll go for two anyway. Because uh, it's the closest that we can get to the shop and I mean to get from there to there takes about a day so yeah it will do nicely. Oh and I mustn't forget the all important tractor for towing the trailer. We'll put it to the maximum engine spec and we'll have warrior and all that kind of fancy stuff. Crawler track? Oh wow. Okay why not? Let's go and spend £307,000. To begin with, I need to just very quickly sort out these headers. I need to pull them to one side so the combines can actually attach them. This will, of course, not be done on screen because the main purpose of this video is to do the crazy stuff, not to do some sorting out because we've done that many times before. But there is the first header. Let's finish things off. Well, here it is. This is field number two just over here. You can see all the other machines following us. They're keeping up nicely. Um, yeah, I couldn't put the baler on the combine without the header because it was just too heavy. It was doing a wheelie. Uh, but how do we get into that field? Let's just hope there's no collision on that fence, but I should think there is. Well, we'll soon find out. This is field 7, field 2 is that one just over there. really do hope everybody makes it around the bend, but they might not do looking at that. It's all going a little bit crazy or very crazy, but at least it's the right video for it. This will do nicely. There's our field. I think there's going to be enough straw. Should be alright. That combine is still at it back there. He needs to calm down. Oh no, now it's following again. It's probably better if it doesn't. It's just going to cause a load of trouble. Well, we'll get the first one set up. And then we'll get the rest set up. Well, this one's ready to go. Put on a worker. Same for this one over here. Get things started up. Brilliant. And we'll try and follow the same line. It may not be too easy. Uh, but remember, these combines fly. They really, well, not literally, but they do go very fast. Uh, in fact, you can already see how much of the field they've just harvested. Quite a bit. So let's transfer this trailer from the Stara to the much larger Deutzfar. I'm worrying actually, it might not be big enough still. We might have to go for the John Deere 9R. But that's the trailer. It's huge. It really is a sight when it is full. So yes, we, we must put it into work mode. Square bales, that's good. I don't think it's going to have a wide enough range to pick up both sides if we drive down the middle. We're probably going to have to go up one side. Yeah, so it's going to take a while, but there is a way of doing this quickly if you really wanted to, and that is to set the yield really high on the straw, and then the baler would just basically throw out about 
a thousand bales in the first 10 meters, but I thought we'd at least do some work today. There we go. Took me a second to get it going, but it's now working. So we'll try it again, we will go up the center, but I don't think it's gonna have a wide enough working range to do that. Uh, you're gonna see anyway how effective this setup is gonna be. It's uh, quite incredible, really. Well, it's taking the bells from quite a distance in front, so if we just go over here, I might have to back up if it does miss some. Yeah, it did do. Right, so flat out, let's go to 39 miles per hour. Let's pick up all of these bells. Basically, up one side, down the other. The combines will fill as well, that's a problem. We took them out on the ground, because uh, that is not the point of this video. It's not about how much we can get into a combine. Uh, so yeah, 600 bales is what we're going to go to, hopefully. Um, you can definitely get 600 uh, rounds. It does say 600 square, so I'm not going to doubt it. I'm sure it can do, because it looks absolutely ridiculous to me. So <laughs> it's, it should be very good, this. I don't know if it's taking into account the weight of the bales. I'm assuming it's not, but if we were to unload to the trailer, which you might be able to do, well, that would be a lot of weight, and it might make everything flip over and fly into the sky. Those combines are working incredibly well. I'm so pleased they went their separate ways as well and didn't bump into each other. We have some brains in the workers today. I'm going to struggle to keep up, to be honest. This is a new level of uh, speed harvesting and speed bailing. Double bales? How did they manage that? Almost power sliding. It must be... Well, you'd have thought it'd be getting heavy, but like I said, I don't know if it would be. If it isn't technically putting the weight of the bales onto the trailer. So, how many are we on? I, I don't know. I suppose we just keep going until it's full, but that's already looking really full. We're not going to have to harvest much, are we? To fill this. And we've probably already harvested enough. Potentially. Or does it just keep going like a massive tower? A tower of bales. All will become clear. I'm so pleased I chose this tractor though. The speedy tractor. If it was a tractor that could only do 26 miles per hour, it would be slow. Let's just keep going. And see how far we go. It's still building it. The tower of bales is ever growing. I might actually wait until those combines catch up, because otherwise we're going to have to drive all the way back up to the top without picking anything up. Although they are quite a long way off, aren't they? Forget it. Let's rapidly turn around. I see you back up there. That's already looking very impressive. In fact, how many bells have we made? Let's just keep an eye on this. Um, created about 204 so far. So if it can hold 600, then it's, this is just a drop in the ocean decided to start loading from here because I don't think we're going to keep it with the combines anyway so it doesn't really matter if we miss any it's all beyond me though never have I done such a ridiculous level of farming before crazy farming but I like it, I really do I, I'm going to do more of these videos because I think they are different it just looks like a moving straw stack. You can't even tell there's a tractor there. That would look unusual from a distance as well. It's like the entire straw stack is on the move. Stop that straw stack. It's escaping. The combines are so far away now you can barely even see them. It's still growing, still getting taller. My guess is it just does keep going until it hits 600. It's gonna be way up there into the sky. How are we going to do this? Well, I suppose the only way to find out is to keep going. That's the obvious answer. The combines are almost full. Almost 90% or 100%. Um, yeah, which is totally understandable, considering the amount of fuel they've already harvested. Mr. Bale.
and it has just stopped loading. That must be, well it must be over 600, yeah 651 have been created. And um, yeah, that's how many you can get on this trailer. Absolutely incredible mod. How I've overlooked it for so long, I don't know. Um, somebody sent me the link for it, uh, but the creator of it has uh, has done well. And I think it's um, a valuable mod for FS because of how weird it is. I mean, it's brilliant. A lot of people actually use this, I should think, to collect their bales. Wow, that is just breathtakingly high. And the tractor is responding to some weight because it does take a while to accelerate now, but it's definitely not responding to that amount of weight. That would just be axle braking. If that was actually sat on there, that trailer would be in the ground. Well, there's a few things I'd like to try out. One is selling them. I don't know if there is actually a sell point on this map. I'd have thought there would be. Uh, another one is turning very sharply to see if it flips over. And, yeah, jumping the, uh, the grain pile just over there, which you can't really see. So, I don't know. Um, yeah. A, a grain... Uh, sorry, a bell sell point. I should think there is one. But it's probably in one of the yards. So I'll just very quickly go back over here. Okay, wrong place. Well, this is where all the grain goes to. Doesn't look like it's the place where the straw goes to. Uh, there is another place just over there. That's possibly even our yard again. Uh, maybe? Yeah, it is. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure about straw sale points. There might be one here. I'll have to teleport to a combine harvester. Let's just fly up into the air. But we've got some straw stacked there, but it doesn't look like an actual sell point. Uh, but that's alright. I'm not really too worried about selling straw. It's more trying to tip it over and stuff. Yeah, so I'm not sure. There is one more place just over here, actually, which doesn't really show up that well. Uh, but this could be a place of interest. Let's just go and see. Yeah, it's just another grain cell point. There might be a straw cell point hidden within here. But I can't see anything. So yeah, let's just go back to our original idea. We're going to have to pick up some speed first. I think we will do the sharp turn first, because it's less likely going to do that. It's less likely going to tip over. I don't think it will do. We'll get up to 39 miles per hour first. And we'll do the same thing and jump for the grain, which is there. And uh, if we can do, we're trying to unload them all to the trailer and see what happens, but it might not have that ability. That's full speed. Yeah, I didn't think it would. It's not taking into account any of the mass of the bale, so it's just basically thinking it's an empty trailer. Right, let's go back over here and we'll go to full speed again. This is more likely going to tip over. I don't really want to tip it over because I want to do more stuff. Wow. So, one last thing to do, and that is to try and unload it to the centre, and you can do that. Wow. Okay, so this is where it's all going to go pear-shaped. Most likely, the bell's going to go flying, because I wouldn't have thought this trailer's going to withstand this. Are you ready? We have to press Y. And the trailer will be thinking, why are you going to do this to me? Well, here is why. Wow. How did that not crash? the game. It certainly couldn't take it, that's for sure. It couldn't ram it any further into the ground, so it just collapsed on itself. Is it possible then to pick this up again? It is. Which isn't really surprising, since it is an auto-loading trailer. Whew. I'm going to save this. I think there are, there's more stuff we can do with this trailer. If you have any suggestions on what we can do next time with this load of bales, please feel free to comment down below and we'll do it, if it's possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.